How long did it take you from that verdict to saying, we need to change the law? Immediately. Immediately. Rodney and Jennifer Smitherman lost their youngest daughter a year and a half ago and want to make sure no other parents find the frustration they did in the aftermath of Nora's death. They felt the pain of her loss all over again when they ran into a legal system they felt was unequipped to do what they believe should have been done. Fox Ace Bob Buckley has the story of how they and their community are coming together to make sure it doesn't happen again. And this is the focus of this evening's Buckley Report. Nora was our baby. Nora Smitherman was a light. Nora was my beach baby. She loved everything about the sea. This ocean shot was one of Nora's favorites of herself. She was the youngest of three and a senior at Forbush High School in the fall of 2021. We've always raised her to be, I guess, caring and loving of everybody. We raised all three of our children that way. Yeah. But I mean, did she embrace this ethos more than the other two just by her nature? Uh, I think Nora had a gift. Um, she could scan a room and see the kid that was alone. And by the end of the day, they had exchanged numbers. One of those kids was Jace Allen, directly behind Nora in this photo. So tell me what happened that night, November 4th. Mm. It was a hard night. Nora went over to Allen's house to help him prepare for a party. She said, well, I will, I'll be back by 9 o'clock. I said, OK. So I said, be careful. Uh, she said, I love you, Dad. Last word she ever said to me, I love you, Dad. By 11 that night, Rodney had gone to the house and was quickly on his way back. But I watched his location come down, old stage and 421, and Nora's location didn't change. Mm -hmm. And that's when I began saying, no, 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 no. Testimony in court contradicted the story Alan told at first. The gun had fallen off the shelf and went off accidentally. Five days later, Jace Allen was charged with her death. What were you hoping would happen at trial? I wanted the truth. Oh, yeah, I wanted, um, I wanted a conviction of second degree murder, which is what he was charged with. Um, we feel like that would have been justice for Nora. And when the guilty verdict was read, they thought... He's going to be convicted of second degree. And then he wasn't. It was involuntary manslaughter. And uh, I just thought, how terrible that is. Eddie Settle represents Yadkin County in the state Senate. Tried by a jury in Ashe County that did everything that they were supposed to do. I think the district attorneys did everything they could do. And it was, it's the law, the way the law was written. So we had to make, we have to make some changes. So Settle and the Smithermans tried to change what's called Rule 404B, which says other acts are not admissible to prove the character of a person because the prosecutors had witnesses say in court that Allen had threatened them as well, but Rule 404B prevented the jury from hearing it. Settle and the legislature ended up with this bill that says 16 and 17 year olds who commit high level felonies will be charged as adults. Meanwhile, back at Forbush High School. I they had been coming to grips with Nora's death, including by dedicating this football game to her, where a friend snapped this picture during the countdown to kickoff, the sky emblazoned in her favorite color, and maybe a wink from God on the scoreboard clock. When I saw 2911, it stopped me in my tracks because Jeremiah 2911 uh, was Nora's verse. I know the plans I have for you, that verse reads, plans to give you hope and a future. Which brings us back to Nora's favorite photo. Just recently, her parents discovered that years ago when she was little, she'd written on the back, God Not Dead which has become one of the slogans of the nonprofit the Smithermans created to help other kids from Yadkin County. That, her parents say, is what Nora always did. Like when, before one of their last volleyball games, she wrote, It says, To her teammates, Oh my. Mm. Your hardest times often lead to the greatest moments of your life. Keep going. Think she's speaking to you guys? Oh yeah, I know it and to her classmates who decorated her parking spot at school with those letters LLN, Live Like Nora. That was their creation, 
and the way Nora lives on through them. Bob Buckley, Fox 8 News. Smitherman's nonprofit is called Live Like Nora. It has a store in Yadkinville with faith inspired items. As for the young man convicted of involuntary manslaughter in her death, Jace Allen, was sentenced to 20 to 31 months in prison.